What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, everybody? This is Life and Love with Erica and Sean here on Got What You Need Network. Yes, the Got What You Need Network. Yeah, we got what you need, baby. We damn sure got what you need. And the first thing you should do is go to Roku. If you haven't already, go to Roku. Um, type in add. Go ahead. Go to add channel. Go to add channel, and then you go and you type in G W U N space TV. After you type in G W U N, it's gonna pop up. But That's go right. ahead and add the space and put TV, and you'll see the Got What You Need app. Yeah. Click the app, put it on your Roku, and then you enjoy the Got What You Need network. Now, enjoy. <clears throat> we're working on Apple Apple um, TV. And we're working on um, Amazon TV, but we also working on getting the app together and possibly mm-hmm. airing things on our website as well. Just you know, just in case you're sitting at your computer, we'll probably air things on the website before we do the um, <laughs> the other channels and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So working on the app, but everything will probably be. Um, started very soon being aired on our actual YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. Yeah, man. But definitely, 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 definitely. I mean, not our YouTube channel, our website, you know, yes. directly to our website. But be on the look for that. But definitely go to Roku and um, enjoy. Yep, enjoy. I know y'all got all the smart TVs out there. Download <clears throat> the Got What You Need TV yep. app. Yeah, because we have some we have some dope shows coming up, man. We have um we have a um show about domestic violence and stuff like mm-hmm. that. That's um that's also produced. It's her first production, her produced Ooh. by Erica Jones. That will produced be and directed by Erica Jones. <laughs> so this will be the first project that she's producing directing. Yes. Um so that'll be dropping soon. You already know about Exposed. We have Cooking with um Chef Gary coming soon. You have to sit down coming soon. Finally going to go ahead and release the um, Black Fathers documentary. <laughs> so you guys will have that very, 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 very soon. Uh, we have a bunch of shows that's coming to the network. So y'all have a bunch of things you can lis- listen to and, w- I mean, go and watch mm-hmm. and enjoy. You can go in there right now and just watch. Um, um, uh, we have these things called 60 Second Docs. Yeah. We have a doc up there right now. We just added a new one on um, um, hip hop art. I mean, RB artist Zen Chris. Um, we'll be adding another one by hip hop artist um, um, Scrap Zoe. And then we'll start adding things. Um, matter of fact, my beautiful wife, she has one on there. She'll have one up there very soon as well. You get to, you know, for one minute, you get to learn some different stuff about the. About yeah. the people within the circle and within the organization. All That's right. right, go check it out. <clears throat> so definitely go check out our app um, on the Roku and enjoy. But man, we we gonna get right into the show. This is episode thirty nine. Thirty nine. Yep, we had episode thirty nine. Our mm. forty episode. I can't wait to do the fortieth episode. Yeah. That's gonna be a treat. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. So, special. yeah, that's gonna be a special episode. Yeah. So, how are you doing, my dear? I am doing lovely. You doing lovely? You finally waking up? You waking up? You yeah, good? Yeah, I'm, I'm waking up. I'm waking up. Yeah, I know I'm we were supposed to do this earlier today, yeah, <clears throat> but um, yeah, your husband things. got busy. Yeah, a lot of things came into play today. Yup, yup, a lot of things came into play, but we knocking this out. That's right. We knocking this out. Yeah. You know? And I also had a good time today with my little mother-in-law. Yeah, so I that see that. You you went out with my mom. Yeah. Y'all went to go hang out. Yeah, that was the longest we ever hang out. Yeah, it was. By ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just by good. yourself, yep. Because mm-hmm. you went to like a tea thing with her one time, but it was a bunch yeah. of people. Yeah. But that was the longest but, yeah. y'all just went moving around, we went shopping moving stuff. moving around, yeah. Yeah, she liked that too. Yeah. You know she liked that. Oh yeah, she did. Cause she was looking at doing man, it's a bunch of little stuff over here, little shops and stuff. Oh Lord, <laughs> yeah, she gonna be trying to stuff. move the damn clay. Oh, she had already said. Yeah. We haven't got up the road good. She was like, I wouldn't mind moving here. This is yeah. a quiet little town. <laughs> yeah. Especially if we don't leave. If we don't leave, yeah. I wouldn't mind her moving out here either. Mm-hmm. Um, I know my hair look crazy. Crazy right now. All of us look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, my locks look wild. <laughs> I just thought about that. Boy, I did not prep check these before the show. Jesus Christ and Latter day Saints. Just, we got locks, so that's allowed to happen. <laughs> but um I thought about that. I was like, man, you know, pop gone, mom by herself, she bored. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. Clayton is more fitting for her yeah. and her lifestyle and what mm-hmm. you know how calm things are for her. Yeah, I think Clayton be a lot more fitting for her. If we had more room here, I wouldn't mind, but I'd also rather she have her own place. I really yeah. want to buy the place up the street, the small mm-hmm. house that'd up the perfect. street with the yard yeah. and stuff. That'd mm-hmm. be, I think, that'd be phenomenal yeah, for her. Um, it would fit her, and then you know she could just pull up, do what she want to do, and yeah. and you know enjoy life. Mm-hmm. So. That might be a that might be something to look up to look into and and see and, yeah. and see what we can do. I think that'd be dope. Yeah, that um, would definitely fit her. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she would like it here. Yeah. she would definitely like it. Because she was out back and <clears throat> she was like, "Man, it's quiet around here." Oh, yeah, yeah. And you don't have to. You know, she live in Durham, so yeah. gunshots and <laughs> people driving fast down the yeah. street. You don't do none of that over here. Like it's quiet over here. Civilization. The little stores she can go to. You yeah. know, she liked the little stores, yep. the little Rosies and. Up, yeah. All that other little stores mm-hmm. right up the street. You know, yeah. downtown Clayton, she'll like that. Yeah. You know, a bunch of little, I take up to that little rest the little restaurant, little breakfast mm-hmm. spot we go to. She'll love that oh, shit. Oh yeah, she'll be there. She'll be in there morning. talking to everybody, <laughs> drinking coffee, getting on people's nerves. <laughs> yeah, she'd be one of those people. Yeah. She'd be mangling and going. Yeah, on. so she would like it out here a lot better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we shall see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll we see. shall see. So let's get into <laughs> the show. I like I like um these topics that you got. So okay. <laughs> um should there be labels in a relationship? I don't think it should be labels. Right. I think um, that we all should, you know, work together and kind of do, you know, all the chores and stuff together. Right. <clears throat> and now, you know, at one point, you know, we used to be like, our relationship should be 50 50. Now, nah, yeah, I, I, don't, I, say, I don't, don't agree with that. That's not even true anymore. No, nah, that's not know? true. No, nah, <laughs> nah, that's not true. <laughs> you know, that changes over the course of your life when you realize that you've grown and you're doing grown things. Right. You right. start to realize, no, that is not true. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. I think everybody should come to the table 100%, 100, yeah. 100. But when it comes to who does what, what mm-hmm. I think, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think financially, I should be the one to play a bigger piece. But yeah. because of how you hold down the home, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which I do. Yeah, but you don't want it to be. Yeah, like you don't. No, want no, no, no. Over because like I think yeah. I honestly think we're. I think it's an even trade off. Like, look, I am yeah. very hands on with our boys, but you know everything that's going on with yeah. them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Time, you you are yeah. definitely the main person mm-hmm. when it comes to what's going on with them in school. Yeah. Even though fucking schools call me first, yeah, they call you. Now. They call so me first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they call me because they know I pull up. <laughs> 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 and for some reason, they say, "Oh, uh, yeah. yeah." When you when when we break up, dad, it's like, "Oh, yep. don't call my dad." <laughs> <laughs> The moment is gonna get on the phone and talk to him. Yeah, don't call dad. I damn it, cuss their ass out yeah. on, on the school yeah, phone. Being embarrassed. Man. <laughs> yep. Being embarrassed. They know not to play with me, boy. Yep. Shaw be automatic like that. I'm like, I don't want to hit none yep. of that, bro. Because the whole class gonna hear it. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know what I mean. I I also think you you pay you. I think in a relationship, a marriage, in a marriage, you are literally, literally the house CEO. You the home CEO. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You you delegate and run mm-hmm. the full organization day to day in this motherfucker. Nah, you're right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Like so, when I look mm-hmm. at things, like I mean, shit. I mean, for myself, I don't do nothing. <laughs> I don't do nothing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I work on the yard. I make sure the trash that anything yeah. need to be fixed, stuff like painted. That. Yeah. I do that stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the outside, All the stuff, outside stuff. The big stuff. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to the delegation of the home, yeah. I don't pay no light bill. <laughs> I don't know now. I when when you send me to pay that shit, I got that shit on the computer. I click it and I and I go in. I, now I know what to do because I've been in there a couple times. Yeah. But that be you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know the internet because I handle the internet. It's just yeah. sit there. I just click it quick because yeah. I know I got the internet revved right. up to the highest that it could be, <laughs> so we could have this shit moving in here right. with mad devices. Yeah. You know what I mean? We yep, are internet family. Baby. Everything is hooked to the internet. Yep, it gotta be. Um, <clears throat> right. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course, the mortgage. Yeah. I handle that. You know, that's but that's yeah. the financial pieces. But when yeah. it comes to washing clothes, yeah, 
I wash dishes because I don't like dishes sitting in the sink. Yeah, you wash. I'll dishes, go and yeah. do it by hand because I'm downstairs yeah. all yeah. day, so mm-hmm. I make sure to do it. Or I pile it up for the boy. Yeah. <clears throat> Even though you bail him out all the time, yeah. but you wash all the clothes. Yeah. You make sure the boys take a shower. Yeah. All I do is go to the head of the stairs and yell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take y'all ass to bed. It's time to go to sleep. Right. <laughs> That's it. Right. Tidy all stumbling yeah. around. I can't front. Lately, I'm jumping on my goddamn Xbox playing damn um, Assassin Creed. Mm-hmm. Once I done beat that game, you know that Xbox is a wrap, right? I probably yeah. will not play this shit no more. Nah, you won't until something <laughs> else new comes out. Right. Yeah. That's the sad part about it. I've mm-hmm. played the hell out of Assassin's Creed. I'm almost done. The damn game told me I was 80% done beating this damn shit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. I don't yeah. do shit, yo. Yeah. You, you have been on it for a while, yeah. Yeah, but I yeah. don't do shit. Yeah. Look, let me tell y'all. If he wasn't a working man, if he wasn't bringing no finance in the house, it wouldn't be no romance. Oh, yeah. He don't do nothing. Nah, I don't do shit. <laughs> I don't do goddamn nah. shit. But he do what he's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, I do what I'm but, supposed to do. But you know, for the most part, as far as you know, the house, making sure the house is run in a clean slate. That's not that me. is my job. I do that. Yeah, and no one yeah. defined it. She just took over that role. Yeah, and it was just did it. Mm-hmm. I always say I bought the motherfucker. So <laughs> <laughs> I throw that shit up quick. Like, Yo, I bought this motherfucker. So you handle what's <laughs> you in it. it. This is what you wanted. <laughs> I did what you wanted. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you picked this motherfucker. You pointed this yep. shit out. I you did my picked job. our realtor. You did the <laughs> shit. I did my job. I ain't really picked her. You <laughs> did pick her. You found her, but I did say let's roll with her. Yeah. 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 That was your fault. Yeah. Because I don't like her. Ass. Good, though, she ain't bad. But no, she ain't bad. She ain't bad. She ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a fan of her as, as things progress. Yeah. But we was already t- signed into that stupid ass contract. And the contract was about to end soon too. She mm-hmm. made sure she found what we was wanting right before that contract sure ended. Because like, I can't lose. Because she know we was gone. We was. Oh yeah, we was about. We had to. already give her the left, the left leg of the boot. Yeah, already did. Already did. Yeah, we like, went with the other chick. Yeah. Who we probably should have went with. Yeah. I was willing to wait what two three months. Yeah. Just to get from under. Yeah. But she came through. She came through at the end. <laughs> I hate to say it won't be referring her, but when it comes to labels, no. when it comes to labels, and right, she ain't gonna be selling this for us neither. No, Mm-mm. but yeah, we what? shouldn't be. Um, yeah, should. Be no yeah, let's not define labels. Nah, um, we, you know, we all living to make it. Yeah, everybody kind of, everybody kind of mostly know their roles. What they, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. what they can do and what they, they cannot do. do. Yeah, 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 you know, so. Yeah. yeah, that is a fact. That is a mm-hmm. fact. When I listen to these people, when they, these people, these other podcasts, and they talk about roles and this, that, and third, it's yeah. a bunch of people in dating relationships. Nobody is married. Yeah, no one really married. knows what nope. what goes into this shit. No one really they knows. Don't know what's going on? Hell, no, nah, they don't know. Nope. This shit is work. They just trying to figure <clears throat> shit out. Right. This shit is work and compromise. Yeah. Understanding. Sometimes taking yourself out of it, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Inserting, yeah. worrying, and asserting of, uh, of other people's feelings, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and and just also enjoying each other. Yeah, can you? I know people say, man, how can you enjoy each other when you got all this going on? You can. Yeah, you can. Don't over complicate this thing. Yeah, you definitely can't complicate. I've been saying for the longest, cats be making love way too hard, yeah, yo. They do. You know what I mean? It yeah. ain't that hard. Don't no. overcomplicate it. No, it's really not that hard. Sometimes it may can be, you know, a little overwhelming with everything that you got to do in it. Right. But at the same time, as long as you got a partner who is doing what they supposed to be doing, right. then everything, you know, it falls into everything place. Everything falls into place. Be fine. Yeah. <clears throat> what are some <laughs> triggers for each? What are some triggers for each other? If you haven't. You got any triggers? Hey, I, I know I do got a trigger. I know my trigger mm-hmm. was from you. When I say something mm-hmm. and you don't let me finish uh, and you go from zero to 60. I do do that. And I have to tell you, hold up, I'm not finished, calm down. Yeah. yeah. And then you realize, oh, my bad. I thought you were. You was about to say something yeah. else. And like, Cause no, Because you know how to dig. No, I don't. You do know how to do. You need to stop lying to these folks. <laughs> she. <laughs> lying to goddamn people. You know how to do. You know how low-key did. You'll say shit trigger things to me that you know that's going to get under my skin. Because you know that. me. 
don't and then and then you be trying to fix it by saying some other shit with you didn't let me finish I'm like nigga you was done see, <laughs> see, but see, see how but, you mind thinking but you right that's not true like the other day I did that the other day mm-hmm. I did that the other day and yeah. I apologized you did I was like yo my bad I'm sorry you did. yeah uh, quickly. Yeah. I didn't let it linger. Yeah. I was like, I no, thought you, you said, I thought I heard something else. Right. I was wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that that's the, that's kind of like the only issue that I had with you. <laughs> okay. Where you, you know, be quick to jump the gun. You know, you just got to slow your roll. Too much bit. dip on my chip. Too much dip on your chip. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. You don't, you don't know anything about me that triggers you. I don't know. Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Stuff that I do? No, no. Uh, I'm just saying, is there anything that I say? I mean, but, I mean it's not that, that a trigger. You've gotten better at certain things. Is there anything that annoying? Like, do I have some a little annoyance about myself that it, that kind of annoys you? The one thing that. That does, <laughs> definitely does. And that shit, I think it was just happening early in the week, mm-hmm. too. Be in the middle of doing something, I got my headphones, and you just come and talk. Oh. And I'd be like, you don't let nobody know you saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, you, don't, you don't you like just, that. I, look, like, prep me that you coming to talk to me, man. <laughs> like, I be in the middle, like, I had my headphones on, and I'm outside in the middle of painting, and I'm not paying attention, and here you come talking, and I'm like, I look up. Like, dog, what is going on? But Why this, you do that to me? That particular time, I did wait a minute. I came to the door, and I did like this right here. Oh, I ain't see that. Yeah, I did that. I, see all that I, I try to, you know, give you the thumbs up, you know, heads up that I'm here. Uh-huh. And then it's kind of like you, you're you're in your own little world. Uh-huh. You know, you doing that or whatever. I got a big world. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 you're in your own little world. Uh-huh. And then you just get this look like, like you know, like you're being bothered, you know. And I'm like, I ain't say nothing yet. Like <laughs> it's something important I want to tell you. I'm not trying to have a conversation with you. I'm just here to let you know. Hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That's it. But it's just that look you gave off. Like you will give off a very standoffish look, sir. That's why. That's why people in the neighborhood don't. That's fuck why with people in the neighborhood don't <laughs> fuck with you. They don't like him. They don't talk. <laughs> Look at him. Even some of the kids' friends was like, "Your daddy mean." <laughs> <laughs> he had this look on his face, like, "Don't fucking talk to me." Don't talk to me, man. Let me fuck alone, <laughs> little motherfucker. I'll He's t- mean. I don't talk to your parents. So don't talk to me. Right. I gotta always. But I be the one giving the, the kids snacks and shit. And I go get the a kids snacks all the time. Yeah, yeah. Always doing shit for the kids, and here they go. Yeah, your daddy love me. I remember, remember the one little boy. That one time, he, he, yep. said, he said, he said, man, your daddy scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Sat on my goddamn car. <laughs> the hell wrong with him? Yeah, now that you don't do. I said, boy, yeah. you don't get your ass off my car. <laughs> Come in my yard, sit on so my car. Sean, Sean like looked that. at me. Sean said, bro, why you do that? Don't, don't sit on. <laughs> <laughs> Shaw went straight to the boy, like, boy, why, yeah. bro, why you do that? Don't sit on my daddy car, Don't get please. My daddy started. <laughs> and he was mean ever since. But then, yeah. little man, I brought them some Bojangles and stuff that time. Yeah. It was all like cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah, every time you see it. Yeah, daddy cool, man. They come and speak, put their head in the car. Yeah. They hey, do. They, hey, DJ's yeah. dad. Yeah, and I'm DJ's mom. <laughs> <laughs> But you right. I don't be. I don't want nobody. You know, I do that. That's like a. Um, that's a mechanism. Mm-hmm. I've realized that's a mechanism to to feel c- people out and stuff. Yeah, and to get sure. people not to talk to me. Yeah, because I don't want to interact. I can see that. A lot of times, I don't want to interact because once you interact and you open that door, that's it. You know what I mean? Yep. They they're respecting you to interact, constantly. wave at them the next time, or have a conversation with them. I ain't here for none of that. Yeah, I ain't here for none. Just of that. like I went somewhere and I met. One of the friend's parents who worked at that location. I had to talk to her. You know, she was making a little small talk, giving her a little discount and everything. <coughs> Thank See? you. See? I had to talk to her. None of them going to do that for me. <laughs> oh, but if man. you would have went in there. I'd have went to the self checkout like, line. <laughs> 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 I, uh, See, you, you know, anti social like a motherfucker, yo. 
You know, I, cold. <laughs> you call me cold blooded. You cold blooded. You ice box. That's what you is. You mean? You want to talk to nobody, man? Yeah. Yo, oh man, because I'm yeah. fronting right now, smiling and shit. My face hurt. But look, <laughs> speaking of face hurt. So you know how Deshaun always tell me, Mom, you faking all that fake laugh and stuff. So now he's getting to that point where he understands that uh-huh. somebody come up and talk to him and he don't want to talk. And he was like, yeah, Ma, my face hurt. <laughs> see? I said, oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, Ma, now yeah. I see what you're talking about. I uh-huh. had to laugh and know it wasn't funny. Yeah, see. Mm-hmm. See? Face hurt, man. Yep. It just suck. It, does. it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy to front. And to be me, to be mom, you know, I'm the forefront of this thing. You know, they yep. send me out in send the field you out to the work. world, yeah, son. Yeah, I go in the hey, field and t- work. Go talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> I was oh, in the field. Something going on? Go ahead. You go ahead and handle that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that goes out. I go up to the school. I don't mind. Well, I took Dave. Remember, Dave on made sure I took him to the school Dad. fair thing. Yeah, you remember oh, yeah. that? Had to go. Yeah, like I had no choice. Mm-hmm. Dad, I want you to take me yeah. to the school. And I think thing. Deshaun went somewhere else. Yep. Okay. Yeah, just y'all yep. two went. Yep. Yeah, I went. Me and him walked up there. I got mm-hmm. caught a cramp. Yeah, you had, had to pick. Had to pick y'all. Had to come pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> I was hurt. I had the wrong <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> y'all was sitting out there waiting like like y'all missed the city bus. That's yeah, how right. y'all was sitting. Everybody I let was gone. play on the playground. <laughs> that was. Funny. But then I realized how much antisocial he is. Like his father, he can't be. He'd rather really yes, play can. by himself. Yeah. He'll play with others and play well yeah. with others, but yeah. he would rather be but by once himself. Once he get tired of you, he uh, duck off. Pew. He will duck off yes, so quick. He would. That boy slide to the right yeah. so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in, like I watch him, and it's literally in him. Yeah, he was bouncing around with other kids, and then too many walked over there. It was like him and one other kid. He was cool. Another one walked up. He was like, all right. Then another one walked up, and another one. And then next, you know, yeah, this he much. was gone by yeah. himself. I said, much. I look. I said, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that is yep. that is his father. He said threes a crowd. <laughs> that is his father. I look at that. I said that boy that was skate. Yeah, on you. He's definitely your child. He is not. He yeah. is anti-social. Yeah. He is not a socialite. We are all anti-social. <clears throat> yes, every single one of us. I'm tired of being in the mix. Back it on out. <laughs> Back it on out. I'm done. It's too much. <laughs> we are some yeah. anti-social yeah, people. Yeah, we are. <clears throat> All right. Do you think it's possible that cheating can be just a moment and not um, always a choice? Mm-hmm. Let's see what you think before I say. I I, I really think it can. Uh, we we kind of had this conversation a little bit, you know, with you being, you know, out in the world in the industry, what you doing? Right. Even though I told you you already done did that and done that, so you you know shouldn't be able to do that. But <clears throat> even though I've given you. You got a head pass, <laughs> but I, I I do think if someone cheats, it's not always because you know they in love with somebody else. No. It could just be you know a spur of the moment thing. You know, you and your partner could be going through something, you know, and of course something else is gonna take your mind, yeah. and you know you're gonna go over. Uh, you and, know, and, but and I and that could happen if. If you two don't resolve whatever issues that you oh, have quickly, yeah. you know if, what I'm saying. If you don't do nothing about it, then <clears throat> right, and you just let it linger it. on, yeah, yeah, that, I, that so can happen. That that can happen, but then that turns into more. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Turn to it being over. And both of us are um um have been <laughs> cheaters in our in our other relationships. <laughs> you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't been faithful to nobody right. but each other since <laughs> since we got together. That's that's crazy. Yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yes. Um, I, I think it could be a moment, you know what I'm saying? We discuss, you know, my so-called yeah. moment that I, I don't agree that's yeah. been my moment, yeah. but yeah. we've discussed that. And mm-hmm. um, I think also, um, yeah, it could be a moment. Yeah, yeah it could be a moment. a moment. You know what I mean? I think it, it, it turns into something else when neither party... Um, mm-hmm. Resolve their current, yeah. you know, do relationship yeah. issues. Yeah, if you, if you don't communicate it, communicate right. about it, 
then you know it's going to stay where it's at and then yep. everybody's going to you know draw apart from each other right and that and that and that hurts because when you draw apart from one another and you mm-hmm. you're not you're no longer communicating you're just you're going through the motions of a relationship yeah <clears throat> The what the marriage is gonna suffer, the relationship is gonna suffer, because yep. now you out here spending more time with this other person, right. and you giving them all of that time, mm-hmm. and you are not giving that opportunity to your person yep. that you have. You know what I'm saying? So that's, right. that's when that shit can be be funny. I think we take cheating. I think we as a society take cheating way too. Yeah, sometimes too far. It's like yeah, mm-hmm. or or just. That's the end all be all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even men. Yeah. <clears throat> Cause I know as a man, it's hard to go back to your significant other after they cheated because you're thinking about the things that you do mm-hmm. with your significant other. Right. And then you're wondering, you know, if they did the same things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <clears throat> I think also once you get out mm-hmm. your mind, if if you're willing to forgive, you gotta <clears throat> if you're willing to forgive and bring that person back, mm-hmm. you got you can't bring up. No, you got to move on. You got to move forward. Yeah, yeah got to move on. You know what I'm saying? You can have a brief brief lapse every now and again, but yeah. then that got to be like, yo, if we're going to do this, we got to do this yeah. in full amnesty and yeah. and none of that extra shit. Yeah. Or if you do do it and, you know, you kind of want to remind the person a little bit, you know, like you can, you can joke about it, you right, know, whatever, right. but. Don't be serious about it, because of course it's gonna always be in the back of your mind. But right. you definitely gotta move forward from it, right? Because just you know, dwelling on it is not gonna make no, it's not anything good. better. No, just dwelling on it. No, it's not. It's not at all. It's definitely not gonna yeah. make anything better. Yeah, but right. then again, you do have some people, right, who just don't care. That's all yeah. they do is cheat in their relationship. Oh yeah. So you got some people who haven't grown up yet. You know, nah. you know they're grown but they haven't, haven't grown, grown up, up yet. yet. No, nah, you're right. Or some people just don't have it. You right. know, they just don't have it in them just to be, you know, faithful to one person, you know. Then don't be in a marriage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my one thing. My thing is that or see if mm-hmm. your partner is cool with that. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of women out here. It's a lot of women out here in in mm-hmm. um in a two way relationship, but they don't know it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. And don't know I feel it. like you should. And there's some dudes out here. There's some dudes, especially in this now this generation. There's some dudes out here in a two way yeah. relationship, it's changing, and right? and and you don't know it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I think mm-hmm. you should. I think if that's what you're doing, you should give your partner the opportunity to be like, yo, I'm down with that or not down with that. Yeah. That's my that's my only thing. Give your partner the opportunity to say, yo, you know what I'm saying, let's do this <laughs> together or you yeah. know, or I I ain't here to be a part of that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, yeah, let him know like, what's going on. You know, he can go yeah. double up the marriage, you know, double up the yeah. relationship because you at a point in time you're not gonna use no rubber with whoever if you ever used one. Yeah. And now sure. whatever that person, what if that person is not faithful? Mm-hmm. Or if that person, because a lot of people don't check the person's um, health, history, health, you know, yeah. history, mm-hmm. or at least their current, making sure everything is up yeah. to date. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, now you like, oh, now you done gave your partner something that you don't got from someone else. Ooh, that ain't good. Hell no. Mm mm. Hell no. Cause what if something you can't get rid of? Exactly. <laughs> don't want those problems. Big fucking. Exactly. Yeah, man. Look, how do y'all always say it's easy to get in something, but it's hard to get out. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, you go out there and get some stuff Ooh, that you can't shake Boy. off. Mm-hmm. Right. That and, you can't take a sh- a shot of penicillin can't do yeah, for you. Yeah, penicillin can't do it. Kind of screwed up. Yep. So that's why we need to. When we do this, we need to let each other know, like, hey, all right, this is what's up. This is what we're gonna do. Are you down for that? It's yeah. all to it, man. Yeah, no, I'm with you there. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm with you there. You got anything else on the docket? Yeah, we got a few things. Oh, okay. We got a couple more things. So, in relationships, have you ever dated someone that compliments your confidence level? Of course. And of course, you know, I'm going to use the now. Right. Because, you know, I'm grown now and everything, and I'm in a real, real oh. relationship. But <laughs> before me, had, did you ever date anyone that was in your confidence level? Um, well, I haven't really, you know what? I only had like one, like, real 
boyfriend. Like one real boyfriend where I actually, you know, went out and people know that we were together, you know, and stuff like that. So, okay. you know, other times I've just been doing stuff. But, um, I mean, that person was okay. Re- really didn't compliment my style. We, we were actually kind of different, really. Yeah. Okay, okay. But um, definitely um, with you, I think we complement each other mm-hmm. very well. And I think we do this because we help each other grow. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, because when we step out, you know, people always say, you know, we look good together. You know, we're both, we're tall. Right. You know, we're smart people. We are That's so a fact. smart. That's a fact. You know, we just, we look good, you know. No, we do. When we step out, we be fresh yeah. now. So we, we, we put we, that shit on we when we step out. We each other very well. We definitely put that shit on when we step out. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. I think um, you, you're mm-hmm. definitely, um, if we talk in current, you, we're definitely evenly yeah. yoke and um, things of that nature. I think I had one other person coming, uh, coming up um, mm-hmm. that complimented my, um, my confidence level. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah that was it. <laughs> but... Nah, I don't even know if they even complimented my <laughs> now confidence he's level. Or if I could just complimented my <laughs> bad energy. Yeah, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that was all. Yeah, that right. was it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that probably was it. it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That probably was it. Mm-hmm. They just complimented the bad energy. That was all. Yeah. Motherfucker was a fucking doof, other than that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah, you ain't been in too many relationships. I, I just yeah, I haven't one. been in too many relationships. I just count though. one, you know. So y'all know I ain't never dated when I was in high school. Nothing like that, you know. I ain't, you know. Yeah, that I, sounds crazy. The people I, I did date, you know, outside of um, my daughter's mother, you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. I dated her. <clears throat> outside of that, I ain't really date you, motherfuckers. Neither, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> Yeah, you was with me, but we was you was with me and a couple other people, <laughs> like straight up. <laughs> Shit. We were all of this together. Cause I'm thinking about it, like Andrews High. I ain't really dating nobody in nah. Andrews High. Mm-mm. I ain't dating nobody. Was I was in even middle school, Rosemary. I ain't really yeah, dating nobody like that. that. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, Georgetown High, you know, my daughter's mother. Mm-hmm. That was the only person I dated. And then, you know, yeah. outside of that. Yeah, I dated um young lady all the way from Con- from Conway, a whole nother area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't fucking with y'all to be honest with you, man. I just keep that a buck. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had plenty of opportunity to date yeah. quite a few girls from our school, but I wasn't fucking with y'all <laughs> like that. I was trying to be low key than a motherfucker, y'all. I wanted to be hella yeah. low key. I didn't want nobody to know who I was fucking with. Right. I didn't want nobody to know who was in my car, and I always had a car, I always had money. Mm-hmm. I didn't want nobody to know none of that shit. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Nobody so when I was out here doing what I do, ain't nobody knew. Yep. I was in other other little towns: Sockerstein, Conway, Everybody Mullins, Florence, way out of your zip code, <laughs> Columbia, Charleston. Way out of your zip code. I was fucking out there. With the crazy ass <laughs> Charleston. Went all the way to crazy ass Charleston. Mm. Mm mm mm. Learn quickly that that was not for me. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> Shit, I just was not fucking with nobody at Andrews at all, and barely anybody from Georgetown outside mm-hmm. of my um, daughter's mother. It was one other girl from Georgetown yeah. I dated briefly, mm-hmm. but I, outside of that, what fuck with y'all like that? You know? <laughs> Sorry, was not fuck with y'all like that, yeah. and it, it wasn't that nobody was. Looked apart like or could have been yeah. dope. Probably we probably could have made some dope shit happen, but y'all talk too goddamn much. I wasn't yeah. fucking with none of y'all like that. I wanted yeah. everybody out my business yeah. and no one knew. Don't, think about how yeah. when we got together. A lot, a lot of people. Think probably, about that. Yeah. How when me and you got together and we told everybody we were together. We from the same town. Yep. Went to the same high school, mm-hmm. same middle school, yep. same elementary school. Yep. We from the same fucking area. Same. When people found out that we were together. How many people were shot? It was a How shot. many people hit you in the DM like, what? <laughs> Yo, it was a big shot. Right. Yo, it was a big shock. Big. Yeah, nobody expected it. No one expected yeah. that. I'm like, huh? Sean? Sean and Erica? Huh? Right. Yeah. Confused. Exactly. 
Yeah. It was like fucking local news when that shit happened. Right. <laughs> but I guess we so, you know, we keep our business to ourselves and stuff. And that's yeah. what both of us was looking for. You know, I've never been the person who was out there and had my business out there. And he damn sure didn't want his one out there. So, nope. I mean, it worked out. Yeah. Yeah. At least yeah. you know about me the better yeah. in my book. <laughs> At least Definitely you know about me, out. man. I, you see what I want you to see. Mm-hmm. What we want you to see. You see what we want you to That's see. That's what I say. We as post well. on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. It be mm-hmm. business, a little bit of family here and there. Yep. If we ever get into an argument, you motherfuckers won't ever know because we deal with our <laughs> shit on our own. Yep. We don't call none of you motherfuckers. We just don't do it. We ain't none gonna do it. That. We don't pick up a camera just to cut that shit on for everybody to see the bullshit. Nope. None of that, yo. Mm-mm. None of that. Damn show sure ain't calling nobody. Hell no. Mm-mm. No. Nah. Mm-mm. People be praying for your downfall. I knew it wasn't going to work out. Nah, mm-hmm. fam, we good. You ain't no dude, shit. Right. As long as we keep our shit to ourselves <laughs> within our circle, everything works yeah, out. Yeah, man. So that's if we start bringing you do. fraudulent motherfuckers in, that's yep. when shit go bad. Start bringing scammers into your relationship, mm-hmm. they're going to scam you out of your relationship. <laughs> Facts. And you can wish you never open your mouth. That is a figgity fact. Because you probably could have made it through if you would have just kept it to yourself and communicate with the person. You probably would have been all right. But I don't believe in all that having everybody in my business. I just uh, don't. Not even family. Yeah. Mm-mm. Nope. Shit. Nope. Because if I tell you something crazy, you're going to look at me. You're like, dang, she just told me he just did that. Why is she back over there with him? No. If I'm gonna go back to you, there's no need to talk about you. I'm gonna head back over there. Now y'all looking at me like I'm stupid. Stupid, right. No. I'm doing <coughs> that. Back so home. you just won't never know if I was stupid or not. You won't know. <laughs> <laughs> you will not know. <laughs> I'm with you there. One thousand percent. I just know myself. Uh, yep. America, you stupid. Nobody else know though. <laughs> right. So what do you think about protecting yourself? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about like condoms and I'm talking about like protect, yeah. protection. <laughs> yeah, I know that because I don't know what those are. No, we, yeah. we ain't whatever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> just, just in general? Yeah. Just in general. Um, nah, it's very important. Mm-hmm. Very important. Um, like, you know, going out. I mean, like when I'm going out by myself, you know, just all that little stuff. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All the time. You mean shit? Even in relationships, I gotta protect myself too. You know <laughs> You're what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, st- I still gotta be my own person. Look, this is one thing I never said that I was going to depend on someone to take care of me. Yeah, you've been on that bullshit since jump. Yeah. I mean, I gotta do something. Even even when I had you at home, you was like, Yeah, I gotta I get a job, get Sean. Yeah, I gotta get out. Yeah, I gotta make my own money. Cause I want to feel like I'm bringing my own money. In. I don't right. want to feel like I'm just sitting at home waiting on you to give me money. You know, to go grocery shopping or to get what I want or whatever. I like to be able to get what I want right there. We gonna see you next year. And that's cool. About the end of the year, we're going to see. But guess what? See. I'm still going to be doing something. <laughs> I'm still going to be doing something. I'm still going to take that money, but right. I'm going to be doing something. I understand that. I understand <laughs> Just can't sit there. But I'm there. talking to protection when it comes but to yeah. definitely firearms and stuff like that. Yeah. You think that's something that you should have? Yes, you should have. Definitely. As a black woman, you definitely yeah, should definitely have. Definitely as a black woman because we are out here get treated like black men as well. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people think that, you know, we are... You know, I mean, as, as a woman, you're already a vulnerable creature anyway. But then just to be black, they don't look at you, you know, to be, you know, safed up, you know. So I keep my stuff on me, you know, when I go. Um, Damn right. Gotta. You gotta. Because I don't, don't want to run to any problem. <laughs> right. You know, I got that or I may have spray on me. I got something on me at all times. We got lawyer money. Yeah. Yeah, we we'll worry about the other we'll shit about later. The other shit later. Yeah. My my life comes first. It's yeah. always gonna be me or you. Yeah, and right. I've always said that. It's gonna always be me or you. I gotta go back home. I got people at the house waiting on me. I'm going back home. Going back to the crib. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, I'm not <clears throat> trying to lose my life or get taken. Look, I'm a beautiful young woman. I ain't got time for nobody trying to put me in their van Your and take ass. me to be their slaves and stuff. I'm not doing that. You're old ass. Mm-hmm. You old as hell. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sit me outside that door right now and see. Mm-hmm. Why won't you? Sit me outside that door. Go outside if you want Sit me. Sit me stupid. outside that door. Back, knocking at the door. Can I come again? <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> All right, currently, what's your dream vacation? Shit, anyway. Location, dream vacation, location. Any anywhere. country. Any country, anywhere. Any place that got green, blue water. Green water? Fruity drink. It is some green water, oh, I think. Okay. When I say blue, I'm cool with blue. Blue or green. Clear. See the bottom almost. Yeah, that, that too, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that, yeah. Any place with some nice drinks, <laughs> relaxation. Right. You know. It's you okay. I don't care where that. Just as long as it ain't the house. Right. I'm trying to get us to Africa. Yeah. That's the dream spot. I'm trying to get us now, to. Now, that'd be dope, too. I think that'd be phenomenal. I already yeah, said I, I might cry, touch the ground. Yeah. Right. Now, after, like, looking at more stuff, like, um, like stuff on, um, you know, TV documentaries and stuff, and, you know, some movies and stuff, you see these places are so beautiful. Yeah. It's not like we, how they put on TV. No, nah, what they is. showed nah, us when nah, we was young. Made it seem like Africa was a third world country, a bunch of bullshit Old going on. Country. Right. Ain't none of that going yeah. on. None of Fuck that. Kids with flies in their face. And yeah. shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's not nice, though. That's what they did, yo. Yeah, they did. They did. That's what you did. I'm not saying every place in Africa is, yeah. is beautiful, but yeah. they got to stop the bullshit. But they definitely don't advertise the beautiful part. No, they don't. Yeah. They don't. But now that would be dope to go to. You know, <clears throat> I haven't been thinking on that level. So, you know, maybe once I once I get there, then my whole you know thought process. Oh, no, you know change. I want it. But um, but yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. All right, let's get to some of these crazy things. You let's got something talk. crazy going crazy on. Stuff. Always got something crazy. See. So the reason why, because when I woke up, it was my birthday. My wife didn't acknowledge my birthday. Oh, my goodness. son didn't acknowledge my birthday. I went to work. My co-workers didn't acknowledge my birthday. Oh, and my manager called me in and said, Mario. I said, fuck. <laughs> I get in there and she said, happy birthday. I said, oh, thanks. <laughs> then she said, you want to get some lunch? And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then she was like, you want to go back to my place? And I was like, all right. So I went back to her place and she was like, let me step in my room. I'll be right back. She got back five minutes later and my kids, my coworkers, my wife was all there to say happy birthday with a cake. And I was on the couch butt naked. <laughs> so the reason why I get a divorce because when I woke up. Booty butt naked. <laughs> Where he messed up at was when he was like, sure, I'll go to your house. You know better than that, man. But she didn't She didn't do nothing. The, I, the, the lady ain't do nothing. Yeah, I know. But you just don't like, sure, yeah, i go to your house. What you going there for? Yeah, because yeah. he thought he was going to fuck. He's like, well, I'm about to bust my he balls just down. He incriminated him on set. Yeah, he did. Cause he, he, he did. Definitely getting that divorce. That he wife walk up out of there, see him yeah. naked. She was disappointed. Kids see that shit. Ooh. But you know Don't play what? with me like that. That wife set that up. Yeah. Because yeah. she wanted to see where he was at in life. And he was not in the right place <laughs> at life. He was not in the right place. And she probably walked out and said, I told you so. Yeah, that's I wrong. knew it. That's dead wrong. Uh-huh. I wouldn't do you like that. Cause not, I wouldn't be you, naked. You're going to know with something strange if right. your boss comes and say, hey. My boss is a 6'5 gay man. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I'm not doing that. No way. I'm about to be as right. naked. <laughs> like, right, right, kind of right, shit right, right. But you know it will be strange. That's my guy, though. That's my guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying his name, but that's my guy. It will be strange if... You know, they just invite you to their house. You right. Know? And no, we don't go there. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we go there, okay. Yeah, come on, let's go. I ain't never been there, so why you going? Right, right. You know? right. Yeah, that was planned. That was wrong. <laughs> that was wrong. I Look, what they say, you always go looking and you find it? Yeah. Well, she found it. So that I hope wrong. she got a plan in place. 
Shit, I hope he got a play in the place. He should have been naked. He about to lose his job, everything. I don't like when people with vulvas say, I'm going to come. The reason why, y'all say it like 15 minutes before you're going to come. Then y'all wanted me to stay right there. Y'all be like, right there, don't stop. And it's like, I'm locked in now. I'm hitting this motherfucker. I'm I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to remember what the oh, f I've been doing for the last the couple of minutes, and I'm like, now I'm locked. I'm out of it. I'm out of my own pleasure. I'm in on you. I'm locked in. I'm going in. <laughs> and you know what they say after that? I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. No, it's like, bro. Women be about to come longer than they not coming. <laughs> No. Uh, you're not wrong. Half the uh, session you about to come. Get over here. Come in. <laughs> and then they have the nerve to say, why did you move? I don't like. That's real. I was here for that hour. That was real. That was real. That, that's definitely facts. I ain't got nothing wrong to say about that. That's that's definitely true. Yo, don't tell me you about to come. <laughs> Just come and then tell me you coming. <laughs> like that's what she, that's yeah, that you know, lady like, in the background. She was like, "That's man, all fact. That's yeah. all fact." Like she understood that. She really did. Yeah. I'm with him on that. <laughs> Tell me you about to come. You better just come. Man, shit. <laughs> Wasting my damn energy and time with that shit. That was crazy. All right, but that was it. Yeah. You got any closing you remarks? Good. Uh, yes. Um, guys, make sure you tune into the new episode of Eating Friends Podcast, which is a solo dola with myself, Model E, title Come Get These Kids. It's a very <laughs> great episode. And all of you mothers and not mothers will enjoy it. So make sure you go and check that out. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at E Inference Pod and on Twitter at Eric Jones with the Z on the N. It's in the bio. It's in the bio. Oh, it's just in the bio. Oh, <laughs> um, I don't have anything, man. Just um, look out for everything that we have going on. I kind of announce everything at the top of the pod. I would like to appreciate you all mm -hmm. for listening thank to Life and Love. Yeah. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, everyone, this is Life and Love with Erica and Sean. And this is episode 39. Peace.